What's going on guys, JPS back with another video, and today we're gonna to be reacting to Peter Hickman BMW HP4 race from the Isle of Man TT. So remember, Isle of Man, self-governing island in between the Lake District and Northern Ireland. That's how I think of it. Isle of Man TT is a race that's held every year. It's actually gonna be early June, so just under two months from now. And on average, there's like two, maybe three fatalities every year. So it's a definitely a very dangerous race, but all of the competitors know what they're getting into when they sign up for this. So it just goes to show how passionate they are about the sport, that they're willing to put their life on the line. Anyone who goes out on the Isle of Man is putting their life on the line every time, Like especially if you're uh, racing and trying to get that time down. So anyways, we're going to be checking out this uh, race from Peter Hickman. He's a Brit. Um, his channel name is Hickey60 which is it's an interesting name, but make sure you guys go show him some support. Hit that like button, hit subscribe, consider joining the Patreon first link in description for full reactions to British shows and movies. And without further ado, let's get right into this. Hey everyone, Pete Hickman here. I don't normally do an intro into my YouTube videos, but I just thought I'd do one for this one because it's such a special video. Many of you have been asking about this, and actually I've been asking about it for a long, long time. The chin camera lap from the whole lap of the Isle of Man TT 2017 on the BMW HP4 race. Uh, it's the second of the two laps. We did two laps on that bike. They're both demo laps. They're not full race speeds at all. In fact, there's some description below which will give you some facts and figures uh, about the lap and about why I do certain things uh, along that lap. So for example, um, at Glen Helen, my foot had actually slipped off the peg. So I'm looking down at my foot, my left foot uh, at one point. I'm just checking to make sure there was no oil because I thought maybe there might have been. So um, there's a few things in the description below. Have a little look and it'll give you some pointers. There's some yellow flags about. Um, it's a really late evening lap. It was actually the latest time I've ever been around the Isle of Man TT, even to date. Uh, the sun is really, really low in places and it caught me off guard in a few a few times, Ooh. which you'll see. Griever Castle is a, a particular one, which I had to really sit the bike up because I wasn't really sure where I was going. And there's a wall on the left-hand side you have to be very careful of. So when the sunlight actually blanks the, the screen out, that's unfortunately what I saw as well. Absolutely Ooh. nothing. But anyway, oh. have a look at the description below for all of that. Uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. It's been long awaited. I've been pushing BMW to get this footage for a while now, and finally we've got it. So it's going to be a really immersive experience. I always get asked, what's it like to race or ride around the Isle of Man TT? Hopefully this video will give you a small insight into exactly how that feels. Uh, if you fancy any of the merchandise, like the bobble hat I've got on now, or this lot, guys, really... All right, here we go. He said he was blind at certain points. That kind of got me nervous just to watch this. Sorry, but like the that bike just sounds so dirty. Oh my Just hearing that is like it sounds amazing. But this would be so thrilling to just Oh the gra it's just eating up the ground, like it, it the speeds are crazy. And this isn't even full race speed either. Like what? I don't even think he's gotten to fast speed yet.
You guys saw that sun for a second there? I know what he's talking about now. Oh my god, bro. I just love the Isle of Man. Like, the way that these, um, not just the roads themselves, how narrow they are, but what's surrounding them. Like, it's, it's almost like it was meant for it. I don't know if they... Just, Isle of Man is just such a perfect destination for this. I like I started sweating like when we watched this video. I don't know why I'm cuz I know he doesn't nothing happens in this cuz he uploaded it, but I'm just nervous watching this. And what's crazy is another adrenaline seeking type of people are the spectators of the Isle of Man because imagine how thrilling that would be seeing all these bikes go by, but you're still putting yourself at risk. I know there's definitely been spectator fatalities and injuries. That's it makes sense but Isle of Man is just so beautiful like I love the the green on the sides and the I don't know if they're cobblestone but the stone walls like all that it's amazing <laughs> That's where I think that in that point he was looking for oil because his foot had come off. I loved like those pictures of uh, motorcycle riders when they're taking a really sharp turn, and it's almost like they're floating above the ground. Like they're sometimes their knee or something is like inch from the ground. The margin for error is just, <sighs> bro. I love this so much. <laughs>
sorry, but that's straight away right there. That's straight away. And then looking at this, look at how gorgeous that looks in the background. I thought it was funny how there was slow on the left side of the road. There was slow like a few times the words painted onto the road. Imagine how <laughs> dumb that feels. <laughs> To me, what's so crazy is how it feels like it's time lapsed <laughs> with how fast things are passing by. Imagine having this as your commuter vehicle. You know how quickly you could get to work on this thing? But I don't know if it's just me, but if, I feel like I've noticed him do a wheelie a couple times. Either that or maybe it's like the, the angle of the camera with his head going. But these aren't race speeds. I'm I'm hoping they're pretty damn close because I don't know how you can get much faster than what we're doing right now. There's still spectators out there too. This is amazing though. Okay, okay, I see I see what he's saying. Like that corner definitely could have been taken. Yeah, yeah. But like that those runs right there, they have these he has these stretches where he just is on it. Like oh my god, this bike sounds amazing. HP4. 
<sighs> Germany is a beautiful country, bro. BMW is a beautiful thing. Hey, so is... Something I was thinking about is I just heard someone downshift outside, so that <laughs> I'm like, wait, I pause the video, what's going on? I wonder like how long it takes them to memorize a, a course, how many ride throughs or how many wh whatever, like th that's what I'm curious about because it's very odd, like you have to have everything memorized to a T. You have to know where, because I'm sure, especially on Isle of Man, there are some more dangerous turns or parts of the course that are no notorious for accidents, fatalities, injuries. So I'm thinking like, I wanna know what is their preparation like? What are they, what's it like getting ready for this? And I'm sure over the years, you know, if you've been, you know, many times, then it's more so just practicing or refreshing and renewing your memory. But there has, you know, you got to learn something for the first time once, like, especially if you're going to a new course. I want to know what that process is like. So far, this video is amazing. Like, I feel the adrenaline. I'm like turning my head as he's taking turns, and I just slowly just keep getting drawn closer to the screen because this is just, it's really exhilarating to watch, even just to watch this. So I can't imagine, like, actually being on the side. I don't think I would ever, I don't think I have the balls to ever ride the uh, Isle of Man, or maybe the, the once, or ready to risk that much but I, I think I'd be open to spectating and that would be crazy on, in its own <laughs>
What even is that? Like, I'm actually... I'm confused. I don't even know what that was. <laughs> it looked like a bobsled or something. But we're into the more rural area of the course. It's just so beautiful. That sun is really going down, though. So I don't... I don't know what's going to happen at the end. We're getting really close to sunset, if not already there. Oh, uh, you see that glare of the light. But when when um Hickey <laughs> Hickey 60 really hits that top I don't I'm not going to say top speed, but you guys know what I'm saying. He gets up there in the speed and just lets lets the bike loose, lets it run loose on some of these straightaways, especially for prolonged periods of time. I'm like just holding my breath because it the way that the way that this uh fence and this grass and all this is moving so quickly it's literally like a blur it's like we're it's traveling at the speed of light or something bro I'm sorry, look look at this. In the background though, that is probably the most beautiful part of the entire course so far. Like this right here. This right here is amazing. I, I wonder how it would feel being on that bike. Like what the, I can't imagine honestly.
that was 100% a wheelie. There's no way. Yeah, there's no way that wasn't, right? Oh my god, can we breathe now? Ooh. Yo, that was such a good video. Oh my god, bro. I love that. I literally... <laughs> I should have had, um... A heart rate monitor and I could have put it up like on the top right of the screen you guys could have seen I'm telling you that was exhilarating I loved it I really enjoyed that I'm, I want to know how much HP in the HP 4 I'm sure I'm HP has to be short for horsepower right even within the bike name so that means it has to have some serious horsepower I'm trying, I'm trying to anyways that bike sounded amazing Peter Hickman even though this wasn't even like a, an actual race or anything, I'm still very impressed by his skills. Um, he's up there, you know? He's a professional motorcycle rider. That is quite the occupation. I wonder what it's like for these guys, though, when <clears throat> they have to, like, you know, be normal. Like, hop in, what, Toyota Yaris or whatever. Like, just a, a regular car and drive that. Like, <laughs> it must be agonizing. And then, you know, driving with r regular people on the road is already terrible for regular people so imagine if you're an amazing driver and you have to deal with that <laughs> anyways maybe i'm thinking about it too much but yeah make sure you guys go show hickey 60 some support um hit that like button hit subscribe and let me know if you want to see some more isle of tt content on here you know i'll bring it to you because i love isle of tt um isle of man tt i don't know what i'm talking about i think i was looking at my shirt and then <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you all in the next one.